I'm the research and development director. And Mantech is the largest of the three components of our R&D program. It involves basically sustainment of key supply chains. It's all about the defense industrial base and really keeping it ready for DLA sustainment. We're at Redstone Test Center, located on Redstone Arsenal, Alabama, and we do testing for Army hardware. So this is a project that we've been working with the Army, and it's part of our additive manufacturing portfolio. For DLA, it's really about getting additive manufactured parts into the aviation supply chain. The name of the project that we're highlighting is the Additive Manufacturing U860 Fuel Elbow Project. And because of supply shortages that had to do with manufacturing quality escapes, the program office and DLA and the Army's DEFCOM Aviation Missile Center of Mantec got together to design, build, and test an additively manufactured fuel elbow. The goal of the project was to do a 10-hour test flight on a UH-60 helicopter here at our airfield. Better than manufacturing is the ability to take a CAD model, a computer-aided design model, and put it into layers into a machine. So the machine deposits layers of materials. This is actually a fuel elbow. What this does is this end connects to the fuel hose and then this end connects to the engine. So this actually supplies fuel to the turbine engines. So the fuel elbow had a manufacturing quality issue had a thin wall on one side of the fuel elbow that was causing small fuel leaks. The importance of this project is demonstrating that we can print these parts and qualify these parts to a certain airworthiness qualification and fly these parts in a limited test flight, which is really just exercising that whole process so that in the future, as additive technology improves and advances, we can move forward and continue to add parts to the aircraft as needed to help sustain it. We definitely consider the project a success. The fact that it was a joint project was very beneficial. The fact that we were able to pool resources, different organizations, and we had a stated goal and we met it at the end. It is important that DLA establishes these partnerships, not only with the military, but also with academia and industry, because when you bring different perspectives to a problem, you find better solutions to it. Success can be defined in a number of ways. In a lot of ways, it's making a better part, getting it qualified so it can be part of the new part that you'd order for that weapon systems. Other times, it's improving a business process for DLA, like moving us from a 2D technical data world to a 3D connected digital enterprise. So success can take different approaches, but for us, it's really all about support to the warfighter.